Hi everyone, this is Asma Khali from Sadi Tanu and in today's video we will be learning about a very useful WordPress tool, a plugin that is called Query Monitor. Now Query Monitor is a free tool for debugging websites and assessing their performance. The application uh, basically it analyzes every request that is being made to the server including database queries, HTTP requests, hooks and actions and just so much more. Now identifying a plugin, script uh, or database query contributing to a load time issue can be uh, done and resolved through, uh, through this very useful plugin. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install it and then we are going to go through uh, the complete plugin one by one, checking out all of its tabs and learning how uh, it works basically so without further ado let's just jump straight to the video okay guys so first of all we're going to see how you can basically install query monitor it's super simple uh, simply click on plugins click on add new and when this window opens up simply search query monitor so this is the one that we want, click on install. Uh, the one that we need is by uh, John Blackburn. And once it's done, click on activate. And once your plugin is activated, you'll see your query monitor tab right above over here. Now you can uh, basically see a lot of information in this little tab. So for the first thing that you can see, that is that 0.08 second, it's the page generation time. The next one, 6.5 MB, it's the peak memory usage. The next one, 0 0.01 uh, second is the total time taken uh, by SQL queries. And the last one, 39Q, is basically the total number of SQL queries right now. So it's, as you can see, right off the bat, it is showing you a lot of information. Now, the more detail that you want to see, you will just simply uh, move your cursor on top of it and you will see the list of all the additional information that you can get. Also, you can simply click on it and this overlay window will appear. You can also use it as a sidebar right over here. And to get more information, just click, simply click on this drop down menu and you will have all of it. Or on this overlay window, all the information is on the left side and you have all the tabs over here. Now this uh, window is basically only um, shown to, administration, uh, to administrators or super administrators. So now let's check out one by one all of these tabs. Okay guys, so the first tab that you will see in your query monitor is the overview tab. Over here, this is basically a little bit more additional information in regards with the same tab that you're seeing at the top, your page generation time, peak memory usage, database queries, and basically everything, but a little more, uh, you can say, overview of your whole site. Okay, so the next query, uh, sorry, the next tab is the queries tab. Over here, you're going to see a lot more advanced um, information. For example, this tab is going to show, show you the query in full form, uh, your caller, uh, query caller, your components. Now, query components, it, it can come from the core, the theme, the plugins, and anything that you want. Uh, the next one is the number of rows. And lastly, we have the time column that this uh, shows the time that the query actually took to execute. And with the query caller, you can also check out the complete information by clicking on this little plus button and it's going to give you uh, the complete information. Now you may use this information for a lot of uh, things. For example, your query execution time is showing you which query took the longest time to execute and hence is pulling down your site and you can use that information to speed up your site and query monitor will also break down in, uh, your, all of the inquiries by theme, by individual plugins so you can observe them uh, how each extension affects your site. You can do that by clicking on your components and you will see your plugins over here, your WordPress core and if you have some themes installed you are going to see that as well in this uh, option. 
Now, of course, there are number of sub menus over here. Some people will see three sub menus: duplicate queries, queries by caller, and queries by component. Right now, I can uh, we can only see queries by caller and by queries by component. So let's check out, let's check them out one by one. When you click on queries by caller, you're going to see the caller, uh, the uh, caller column, select column, show column, update, and of course the time column. So basically, it allows you to see all of the uh, callers on this page. If you select one, for example, like this, uh, a list of queries for what the caller, uh, for what caller is, and it just simply ex uh, explains you or shows you that query. Next, queries by component. Now, it provides a list of all queries done by WP Core, by the plugins, by the theme. So if right now we have the, um, the WordPress core, we have all of the plugins, and if we have a theme installed, it's going to show that as well. So that's the query tab. Okay, so the next tab that we're going to see is the logs tab. Now the log tab is a more advanced tab where you can log messages and variable. Now this might help you troubleshoot technical issues or monitor your site for issues. Now this tab will be blank when initially installed Query Monitor. Like for example, right now we just installed a Query Monitor. So right now it's showing me nothing, no data is logged. And uh, since we have still not configured any logging variable, so it's going to show me a blank screen right now. Next is the request tab. So the query uh, variables for the current request are displayed in the main request page. For example, right over here, it has three sub menus. It's going to show me the request headers right over here, the response headers and the hooks that are basically in use right now. So you're going to see all of the hooks over here. So that is the request tab. Next one is the admin screen. Okay, so if you utilize uh, Query Monitor in the WordPress admin dashboard, for example, right now that we have, uh, the admin tab will appear, this one. So if you're not using Query Monitor within your WordPress admin tab, you will not see this admin screen. But since we are using our WordPress admin dashboard, that's why we're seeing the admin screen. Now the custom, uh, so basically what it does is the custom column filters and actions are visible when viewing an admin panel with the listing table. So we have all of the, the list tables over here. Now it also displays the current states of the get, screen, uh, get current screen. So all of the actions are uh, all of uh, basically the current statuses are shown within this um, tablet, uh, within this tab. Next one is the scripts. Now the script tab is basically uh, the second most important column after um, after maybe the admin tab and uh, this is the second one that is very important now this shows uh, all of the pages javascripts uh, as well as their dependencies their dependents uh, you may also use filters for example right on the, the at the top you can use your filters and filter out more information your required information since it's basically a lot of information in just a tiny tab. Now, most scripts on the whole imply basically a slower website because dependents, they increase page speed and add HTTP requests. So this section can be used to investigate the effects of various extensions. For example, you can see all of the sources, all of the dependent, uh, dependencies, all of the dependents and various extensions and to identify strategies to reduce the amount of enqueued uh, scripts so that each you can basically make your site more fast. All right, so that we have seen scripts. The next tab is the style tab. Now it is similar to the script tab, but it is a little different, different than the script in regard with the script shows you the JavaScript and styles tab shows you basically the CSS of your page. Now it is yet another useful tab for debugging your site's performance. For example, with scripts, you were debugging um, in regards with the JavaScript and in styles tab, you are debugging in regards with the CSS uh, script. 
Now loading additional style sheets on a page similar to scripts results in a slower loading site. So using this tab, you can check out all of the CSS and just filter out and debug your site. The next one is hooks and actions. Now the hooks and action tab basically shows all of the current pages hooks and actions. So there are a lot of hooks and actions, basically a lot of actions within those hooks and you can see all of those one by one over here. So when it comes to an action, you may act also expand it. For example, within the hook plugs, uh, plugins underscore uh, plugins underscore loaded, you we can expand this action more further. In the same way, you can expand any of these actions right over here. So you can also search for action from the WordPress code, the plugin using the component tab. So you can basically filter out uh, those actions, those hooks those actions and within the uh, hook tab you can also do the same so this tab is not particularly performance oriented but it is useful for some customization development so it's better good for that regard the next tab is the language tab now the language tab displays your sites language and text domain as well as the language file for each uh, extension. So if you're adding extension and it has multiple files multiple of multiple languages, you can check them out over here. Now, if you have a multilingual site uh, or your site is in a language that does not have a full translation pack coverage, this tab can be very useful. But if, for example, if you have a default site with only one language that is English, then this um, tab is not that much useful in that regard. All right, so the next tab is the HTTP API calls tab. Now, HTTP API calls tab provides the request uh, details, time, and HTTP status code uh, for all server-side HTTP requests made during the page load. Now, it is so important that you actually see no HTTP API calls, uh, which should appear on numerous pages, which is a good indicator basically because it suggests that nothing is interfering with your site's performance and everything is going according to the plan. There are no requests pending. The next one is the capability check. Uh, so the capability check shows you which user capabilities have access to the current content and you are viewing that you are viewing this can be useful uh, for determining whether different users have access to different front end and backup uh, back end material the next tab is the environment tab right over here so uh, just off the bat you can see there's a lot of information in this tab this tab gives you the comprehensive overview of your site's environment uh, including phps their database their wordpress their server so it's basically giving you an overview of all of these four components of your site and the last tab that we can see here is the conditionals. Now, this tab allows you to examine which condition statement applies to the current page, which is, which is useful for uh, custom development, basically. So there are both true conditionals and false conditionals that you can see right on your uh, page. So that's it with Query Monitor. You can see we just gave you a detailed, a comprehensive overview of each of these tabs and using these tabs, you can enhance your site's performance. You can make it more speedy. It's giving you a lot of information to work on. You can customize it even more and make a very useful website. I hope this video was really, really informative for you guys. If you still have any questions, just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe Cyber Panel.